You got the kamikaze look, Johnny. I finally get to hear about Thor. Well, actually, I've got one more story to tell you before we get to Thor. Well, technically, it's two stories, but it's really one story. You'll see. I'm being robbed. Actually, the story's about a robbery. But I didn't know whether you'd like surfboards or cars, so we're going to do both. Because they're pretty much the same story. Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. Okay, go time! So there's a cop in LA? I am an FBI agent! Yeah, whatever. Who's investigating a series of robberies. The crew is a precise group of five who's very good at hiding their identities. They know the response times of the police and are very organized so they can get what they want and no one gets hurt. So it's simple. You project strength to avoid conflict. Peace through superior firepower. Some trace evidence left at one of the scenes. So last year, Nixon scuffed the counter when he's going over. Lab says the skid marks came back the same. So there is a soil sample. Mashimoto ZX tires. Traces of sand. Carnuba wax. Sex wax. Yeah. So we know that it's somebody in the street racing world. Surfers use this. They rub it on their boards for traction. It leads a veteran detective to believe that there are members of a certain subculture where the women don't wear much clothing. I smell skanks. That's why you're undercover. His direct supervisor is oddly concerned about his health. You need a solid breakfast, Utah? Ah, uh, decaf. All the food groups avoiding caffeine, sugar. Will somebody, somebody just give me a cigarette? Get him a cigarette. Don't get him a cigarette. I like to make sure that all my people maintain Coming sound through. cardiovascular fitness. But you quit. Yeah, I did quit. So I take the skin off chicken. Just give me a cigarette. Get him a cigarette. No! We don't drink and we sure as hell don't smoke. And they don't think that him going undercover is the right move for the team. We're working undercover. It takes time. It's you want time? Find the magazine. Just how the hell did I ever even let you talk me into this whole boneheaded idea to begin with? We don't have time. But they're the ones who approved him going undercover. Uh, I'm not saying that he's necessarily the one that's popping these trucks, but I can guarantee the both of you that he knows who is. You can't just walk up to those guys. You have to get out there and learn the moves, get into their head, pick up the speech. Rah! Rah! Hey, bro, you got a bathroom? This was your lame idea in the first place. You got so check it out, it's like this. You saved your life, bro. Oh hell yeah. Close one. No faith. Long workable rights. Dude, I almost had you. Nice point break. Uh, all right, like <laughs> What's that? Up, What's how up, you Brian? How you feeling, man? Pretty good. His young age gives him the ability to blend in. Young, dumb, and full of cum. Hey, man, a lot of guys your age are learning to surf. But he underestimates how much skill you actually have to have. You crazy uh. son of a bitch! You want to commit suicide, you do it someplace else! When he tries to fit in, he embarrasses himself and gets laughed at. You never had me. You never had your car. You gotta stay low, you're gonna bite it. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. That's a, that's a surfboard, all right. Almost said me. He even gets in fights with people who think he doesn't belong. And while on enemy territory, his vehicle of infiltration gets destroyed. Oh man, we were just about to get along. He then results in going to a girl associated with the group who works at a restaurant and annoys her. Why do you keep hanging around here? Every day for the last three weeks you've been coming in here and you've been asking me how the tuna is. Give me a break. It was crappy yesterday, it was crappy the day before. Guess what? It hasn't changed. What do you want? I'll have the tuna. The tuna on wheat. No crust? No crust. I'm serious. I can see that you're serious. Go. This gets him noticed by the group and creates an opportunity for his natural talents to show. And this is what gets him acceptance. You are my good graces. Good catch. You drive like you've done this before. Don't you know who this is? You boost cars? Johnny Utah. What are you, a wheel man? The Ohio State Buckeyes all conference. At work, he gets made fun of for having a female contact. That is your surfing contact? I think the kid's sisters learn your vision. Female. You can't see past Mia. Blue eyes. What, are you going native on me, Brian? Black hair. I don't blame you. I'd get off under surveillance photos, too. Five foot six, 119 pounds. As if they aren't 51% of the population in L.A. You know nothing. In fact, you know less than nothing. If you even knew that you knew nothing, that'd be something, but you don't. He gets invited to a party where you can see that he hasn't quite clicked with all the members yet. Why'd you bring the buster here? Don't you think that's a little out of line? But they still offer him a beer anyway. You can have any brew you want, as long as it's a Corona. Thanks, man. The leader of the group is the one that looks at what they do as a lifestyle instead of a sport. It's almost spiritual for them. They don't have any real understanding of the sea, so they'll never get the spiritual side of it. You say grace. Hey, you're not going to start chanting right now. Uh, 
Thank you for providing us with the direct port nitrous uh, injection. <laughs> I might. Amen. 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 Not bad. Amen. Amen. And this guy takes him under his wing and helps him understand what it's all about. You still haven't figured out what riding waves is all about, have you? I live my life a quarter mile at a time. It's a state of mind. For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. It's that place where you lose yourself and you find yourself. Nothing else matters, not the mortgage, not the store, not my team and all that bullshit. You don't know it yet, but you got it. It's right there. While they're hanging out, they come across a group that matches the description of what the cop is looking for. A jacket full of priors on every one of these punks. Felony possession of cocaine, that's good. Now we have a top echelon fence with a loo pose in his mouth. Felony B&E. Automatic weapons. Felony assault. A garage full of DVD players. Postgraduate work at Chino. And generally psychotic behavior. Excellent, I'm loving it. These guys really fit the profile. They're dangerous and violent and don't care who knows it. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. They think they have enough evidence to move in on this group, but then our cop stupidly goes on the raid too, risking blowing his cover. Well, if they get the bad guys, they don't need to be undercover anymore. True, but if they're wrong, and in this case they are, Last time you had a feeling I had to kill a guy, and I hate that, it looks bad on my report. They don't have an alibi of where they were when the raid happened. When the raid goes bad, they get blamed for not doing their job, even though it was approved by the higher-ups. The DVD players were purchased legally. Here's a record of your suspect's movement. All we've got on Tran and company are a couple low-rent weapons charges and some outstanding speeding tickets. Saw these guys robbing Tarzana City National Bank on August 2nd when they were in Fort fucking Lauderdale August 2nd. Is this the kind of intelligence I can expect from you, O'Connor? I want you to figure that out. You're going to put this on me. It's not an easy thing to do, is it? I can put it on whoever I want to, kid. Perks of the job. No, 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 no! No, there's no way you're going to put this on me. No, wait on a minute, me. wait a minute. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what you've produced. Over the last two weeks, you two have produced exactly squat! I don't care if you have to put a gun to someone's head and blow your cover to smithereens. He's constantly getting yelled at by his boss, but he doesn't have much respect for him anyway. Does either one of you have anything even remotely interesting to tell me? Hey, did you tell him what happened? He knows what happened. Caught my first tube this morning, sir. Kids giving me attitude? I guess we just must have ourselves an asshole shortage, huh? Hey, you know what? Why don't you send the bill to Johnny Tran? Not so far. At least one member of the group suspects that he might be a cop. He mows like a cop. He's a cop. He's a cop. I'm free. You a cop? I'm free. He's a fucking federal agent. But the leader's natural charisma outweighs their suspicions to the point where they even bond with him immediately after. <laughs> Then don't worry about this guy. I know exactly what to do with him. Hey, Hinton! You're doing good! Let's go for a little ride. Donnie, you're about to jump out of a perfectly good airplane! Smoke him. You're a speed star! We're going like a bat out of hell! He starts to see that the group he's become a part of is actually the group he's looking for. It's Toretto, Brian. It's in our face. It always has been Toretto. Upon observation, he sees that there's the violent one that doesn't like him. You should have shot him when I had the chance. Try Fat Burger from now on. You get yourself a double cheese with fries for $2.95, faggot. The yes man. So I want to go. Huh? I'm on it. Go! The kid that's in over his head. Well, I ain't gonna live to see 30. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing, Dom. I'm so scared right now. The auxiliary member who gets sucked in when things go wrong. Letty, I need you on the left side. Don't you see that's why I need Rosie? I could never do that, man. And the leader. He's like gravity. He'll take you to the edge. Past. Just outside of the group is the girl he's dating with the approval of the leader due to their shared history. Break her heart, I'll break your neck. And while undercover, he takes her back to his actual house. You brave, you brave. He wants to tell his girlfriend that he's a cop. There's something I wanted to tell you. It's important. It could really affect things between you and me. Uh -huh. It's just the wrong number. You're a shitty liar. But when she finds out, she doesn't take it very well. You lied to me! Oh, you bastard. You embarrassed me! What do you mean they don't take it well? Well, she thinks that because he lied to her about one thing, that everything else that came out of his mouth is a lie too. The only thing that pulled me in is you. Being friends with your brother is just a bonus. I bet you lied about your parent! They live in Columbus, Ohio. Everything I ever said I felt about you was real. I swear to God. Fuck you! 
Yeah, this is Officer Brian O'Connor. I'll bet you lied about everything. I like the tuna here. Even though part of the crew thinks that one last score is a bad idea. Your sister's right about this one. Don't tell me to relax, Bodie. This don't feel good. I mean, this is serious shit. Something's wrong. And I am scared, okay? So I say we get the fuck out of here now, tonight. The leader convinces them that this is the big one before they can vacation to Mexico. Look, this is the mother load. We have one more. We've been on this for three months. This is strictly a summer job for these idiots. After this, it's a long vacation for everyone. We won't see him till next summer. Other night I had a dream. You and I were on a beach in Mexico. You just keep thinking about all the senoritas and margaritas. They involuntarily get their girlfriend involved in the heist where she gets put in danger. The robbers end up breaking their own rules. Same green neon glow from under the chassis. And they stick strictly to the cash drawers. They don't go for the vault. You're breaking your own rules. You're pulling too much time. We shouldn't be doing this without Jesse. Yes, don't get back yet. No, they never go for the vault. They never get greedy. Which creates a reason for an unexpected gun to appear, which throws off the heist and causes multiple injuries to- The remaining crew escape in the chaos, and the cop goes after the leader. Where's Leon and Letty? They're long gone! Where's Roach? Around somewhere? During their escape, the leader manages to conquer the one fear that they have admitted to. I've never driven her. It'll turn into the biggest surf this planet has ever seen. It scares the shit out of me. It's not tragic to die doing what you love. They get the upper hand on the leader as the police close in, but at the last second, they let them go to continue doing what they love. I owe you a 10 second car. Vaya con Dios. And then he struts away, knowing that he did the moral thing. Not necessarily the legal thing, but the moral thing. So what do you say, am I worthy? Now whatever it is you're in on, I want in on it too. Dom, I'm gonna hit that subscribe button whether you like it or not. Now you can finally shut up about Thor because I'm gonna tell it to you next week. I was taking shrapnel and K-Sod while you were crapping in your hands and rubbing it on your face!